Next to a warning from the FBI about cyber criminals who are stealing money through fraudulent cryptocurrency sites. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Wendy Ryan. And I'm Jamison Euler. The FBI says cyber criminals are creating fake cryptocurrency investment platforms to steal people's money. Their report shows since last year, more than 240 people have fallen victim, losing more than $42 million. They say these websites still claim you owe taxes or fees and then threaten to take your money if you don't pay more. And this is what a Tampa bakery owner believes happened to her when she lost her life savings after investing in cryptocurrency. ABC Action News reporter Wendy Lane learns about her warning to others and talks to experts about some red flags in the cryptocurrency world. We make uh, birthday cakes, decorated sugar cookies, fruit bouquets, chocolate-covered strawberries. Lorena Brunson followed her dream and in 2016 opened Beanie and Belly's Cupcakery in South Tampa. But COVID hit her business hard. And I had lost um, my partner earlier this year. So, you know, I was kind of struggling as far as money. The bakery was in danger of going under. She needed help. And last month, out of nowhere, it looked like she was going to get the break she needed. The supplies that I have is what I'm working with right now. Her son Joseph had met someone on Instagram who introduced him to investing through a cryptocurrency website. And he was making money. I wanted to make sure it was legitimate, so I asked her if I could, you know, withdraw the funds, and she pretty much showed me how to do it. After a week, he was getting big returns. I was kind of like telling all my family members like, hey, this is probably legitimate, you know, let's try to make some money off of this, you know, this might help. So Lorena started investing what she had been saving, and at first it went well. My brother gives me like $9,000 to start, my mom gives me $24,000, and um, I, st I doubled the money within like th two, three days. The money had doubled and then was tripling. So then we thought, wow, this is great. You know, let's invest more. So they did. But when they wanted to make another withdrawal, they said they were told they first needed to pay taxes or they would lose the money they had in their account. So they scrambled to get the money, even borrowing from friends and family. I took cash advances from my credit cards because I thought, wow, I can pay it back in a matter of days. They say they paid the $29,000, but were told that because they had help from others, that they needed to pay a risk fund. And then that we had two days to get the money to them for the $62,000. They realized something was very wrong. They filed a report with police and the FBI, but it was already too late. Within a month's time, Lorena says she lost more than $100,000. It had to take an emotional toll on you. Yeah, I was. <laughs> It, I mean, it did because it's my livelihood. So sorry. It's just not my livelihood, but you know, my kids, the grandkids, and you know, I'm probably going to lose. Like everything. Oh. Lorena says the most frustrating part is the website is still active. So here's the screen that shows that we should have the 250,000. Cryptocurrency expert Armando Pantoa says Brunson's experience with the website follows a familiar pattern. They take the money from you, the crypto from you, and then they're able to manipulate the database on this made up website. They can put whatever number they want. They can say you have 10,000, 50,000, 100,000. He says the website operator threatens to take your money unless you pay more. And normally it's like you have to pay taxes or an international exchange fee. They just come up with something. So you send them more money. I spoke with the FBI and they say they've been seeing a lot more of these types of cases and that the cryptocurrency world is still very new to most people. The other thing with cryptocurrency is still kind of the Wild West. Special agents Sundana Parsons and Kelly Shannon tell me most cryptocurrency exchanges are not criminal. But if a fraudulent case originates in a foreign country, 
it presents a challenge. Criminals that may be located overseas or, as you noted, the websites that may not be located here in the United States, it takes time for us to work with foreign partners and to coordinate on all of those investigative matters. When it comes down to it, experts say you need to look out for yourself. Armando says some red flags in the crypto world are people reaching out through social media. A website that looks outdated, has stretched images, misspellings, or oddly worded sentences. Being rushed to make quick decisions and a promise of big returns. An average return in the stock market is 9% a year. If somebody's offering you anything above that, you need, you, that's, you need to do due diligence on that. But. It's something Joseph wishes he would have done more of. Was it hard to see how emotional your mom was about all of this? You know, it's heartbreaking because, you know, I've never seen her cry maybe more than once in my life. So, you know, that hurt a lot because she put all her trust in me. For Lorena, she wants to pay back her friends and family and warn others. I would hate to see someone have to, you know, endure all of this. You know, you work hard your whole life to get what you have and for it all to be taken away in a matter of a month, you know? I sent a message to the company that displays the Brunson's crypto account. There was no phone number, only a Gmail address, and I still have not gotten a response. In Tampa, Wendy Lane, ABC Action News.